Well, let's just get this straight. First off, you know, we don't like to try different things. And I mean, we as in minorities, but this burger right here slap, it is fine. F-Y-E, fine. Very delicious. First, I'm gonna put some liquid smoke on it. A little bit of onion powder. Of course, you know, we gotta have the McCormick. If you ain't got McCormick inside of your cabinet, something wrong with you. Garlic powder, black pepper, and fine, fine salt. The reason you want to find this is because it, it, it don't have an overbearing flavor. But you want to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that good old liquid smoke on there and, you know, kind of get it spread across there. And then go ahead and start putting your seasonings. Now, you can put any type of seasoning you want. I chose these because this is the flavor that I like. But you can use lemon pepper, whatever type of seasoning you specifically like on your burger. But I'm going to tell you, you want to season both sides. You could mix all your seasonings into the patty, then patch you out a, a fresh patty. That's what I usually do. But this time, I was just wanting to go straight from the package to the grill or to the griddle because I was kind of crunched for time. However, regardless, it's going to taste amazing. All right, so I wanted to point out grapeseed oil because grapeseed oil tastes great. It literally do. And I'm going to go ahead and put some mushrooms and some onions on this burger. But I got to grill it first. Of course, you know, we don't just throw raw raw items on a burger not like this man i'm telling you this vegan food will change your life it'll change the way you want to eat and everything look at that burger look at the way it looks it looks amazing that's right it looks amazing so we're going to take a little bit of that grapeseed oil and we're going to sprinkle it on top of the, oil, the onions and the mushrooms and we're gonna chop those onions and mushrooms up too because we don't want bulky items on our burger. But you'll see why I'm doing it this way here in a second. All right, so now that I got the mushrooms and the onions basically taken care of, let's go ahead and get this bun. I was gonna put some butter and some mayonnaise on it, but I decided not to because I would rather just have a regular toasted bun because I don't wanna introduce you to anything you don't need to be doing on your food that you might not even like. But let's go ahead and throw those onions and mushrooms on top of this burger. Now, mind you, those onions and those mushrooms could have been cooked a little bit longer, but I like it to a certain specification. And I like that for my onions to have a little bit of crunch, not Ooh. too, too soft. But let's go ahead and put the cheese on. I love this mature cheddar. The first thing you do in order to get this cheddar to work right is you heat it up on the grill. It's not going to melt quite like regular cheese so you warm it up until it starts to get darker and you throw it on top of that bad boy but i got another trick for you yeah all right so you take a little bit of water put it in the pan you put the pan on top of your burger and you coat it cover it and you make sure that it's got a nice seal because i'm going to show you what we're shooting for here in a second so i see my buns are done my buns are nice and toasted it don't sound right but you know what i mean got some organic spinach we got tomatoes we're gonna throw some tomatoes on this bad boy of course you know mayonnaise mustard and look at that look at that burger oh man and let's go ahead. I already got my burger made. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. Yes, put it on. Man, tell me that don't look good. Like, subscribe, show some love because you know this is delicious. You know it's good. You know what it is. Hey, share, 
share to your friends. Let's try vegan. God bless.